The survey found that the statistical chances of someone from a poor background being accepted at one of the country's most respected universities are far lower than those of a student from a wealthy family. This means that the inequalities in society are likely to be passed down from one generation to the next. There is every reason to believe that effective regulations are not merely a luxury that only the rich can afford, but an important foundation for a thriving private sector and economic growth. But the broad pattern of the past five years has been that the main reform efforts are taking place in rich countries. The advantage of the great European and American orchestras is that they were able to establish their economic status in an age when their identity could become entrenched. There was less competition, and it was easier to create a brand. Not only did they have the best holes, they attracted the best musicians, who tended to stay put.
quite obviously a significant rise in the number of people in a given area or country will affect a demand for a whole house of goods and services. Note that a change in the structure of the population will increase the demand for some goods but reduce the demand for others. Most of us spend on average 1,800 hours per year in our jobs and will work for about 40 years before retirement. When you consider the amount of time spent in the office, you soon realize how important it is to feel a sense of achievement at the end of the day, rather than just meeting financial objectives. Extroverts tend to move quickly and try to influence situations directly, while introverts give themselves time to develop their insights before exposing them to the world. Extroverts are happy making decisions in the thick of events, while introverts want to reflect before taking action.
A level of competence in chemistry is essential to the professional practice of material conservation. An understanding of scientific concepts and a basic scientific vocabulary enables the conservator to understand conservation problems, treatments, material techniques in a systematic and quantifiable way, which can be communicated not only to colleagues in the profession but also those from other disciplines. For graduates looking to give something back, volunteering, either in the UK or overseas, is a popular option. Voluntary projects can cost anything from nothing up to a few thousand pounds, and with that in mind it is essential to look into the project carefully before signing on the dotted line. Tissues are grouped together in the body to form organs. These include the brain, heart, lungs, kidneys, and liver. Each body organ has a specific shape and is made up of different types of tissue that work together. For example, the heart consists mainly of a specialized type of muscle tissue, which contracts rhythmically to provide the heart's pumping action.
The life of a hunter-gatherer is indeed, as Thomas Hobbes said, the state of nature, solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short, in some respects. To be sure, wandering through the jungle bagging monkeys may be preferable to the hard slog of subsistence agriculture. At an early stage in the examination of the domicile of dependency rule and so far as it related to married women it seemed to the commission that it would be better to examine the whole concept of domicile, particularly as dependent domicile arises in the case of minors children under the age of majority and mentally disordered persons as well as in the case of married women. The Assembly also decided that, at that special session, it would adopt a concise and action-oriented political declaration, agreed upon in advance by consensus through intergovernmental negotiations under the auspices of the Conference. See.
Plato often explores the father-son relationship and whether a father's interest in his sons has anything to do with how well his sons turn out. A boy's social identity in ancient Athens was determined by his family identity, and Plato often refers to his characters in terms of their parental and fraternal relationships. Socrates was not a family man and considered himself as his mother's son. Charlie Parker noticed that the solos were only improvised through the melodies, but that he could also improvise them through the chords, thus creating new variations over the structure of the songs, and also playing more notes and faster. Children as young as 14 months old will spontaneously help others for no reward, but a study of three to five year olds found that, although they would spontaneously draw pictures, if they were given a reward for drawing pictures, then later they wouldn't make any drawings unless a reward was offered.
The colonial institution has a lengthy and illustrious history that dates back over 200 years. Many of the persons who have worked here are scientists themselves, such as Albert Einstein. He produced breakthroughs that made it simpler to produce and use electricity, allowing us to do things like switch on lights, cook dinner, and play video games on consoles. Aquaculture, also known as a cathamathing, is the farming of aquatic organisms such as fish, crustaceans, mollusks, and aquatic plants. Aquaculture involves cultivating freshwater and saltwater populations under controlled conditions. Yet this landscape, which appeared so alien and confronting to the white settlers and explorers, had been home for thousands of years to indigenous Australians for whom the plains, ranges and deserts were a sustaining, spiritual and integral part of their existence.
The term of voice and text are multifaceted. Both have a wide range of meanings in everyday speech and academic usage. You may encounter that are used in a variety of ways, in connection with different subjects, and they won't always mean exactly the same thing. The majority of early pictures in the gallery's care are by unknown artists, and fundamental question, such as when, where and why they were painted still remain to be answered. Through the application of scientific methods, this has potential to unlock key that will allow us to determine answers to these questions. With a population of only just over 30 million living in the world's second largest country, Canada is justly renowned for vast tracts of wilderness and troubled by pollution either from industry or from intensive farming methods. A major conservation issue is the battle to stop the logging of virgin forest in northern Ontario and on the west coast.
The question is asked how is understanding possible? The technique for thinking of this approach is that, while scripture is something past a standard substance, scripture is in the principal examination content which individuals endeavor to appreciate in this sense. The benchmarks of seeing any substance applied to the Bible additionally paying little regard to whatever other additional, especially philosophical gauges are considered. Most countries are affected by labor migration. In many rural places, the traditional extended family has been undermined by the need for family members to migrate to towns as an economic necessity. Migration, therefore, presents a major challenge everywhere to social and economic policy. Tidal energy, also known as tidal power, is a renewable source of energy and a form of hydropower used to generate electricity from the energy, the tides, though not currently widely utilized due to high costs and limited availability. It can be called the energy resource of the future given the current rate of depletion of energy resources.
in attempts to understand the very nature of our reality. Physicists sure have some mind-bending theories. Like what if information is a tangible and fundamental aspect of physical reality itself, alongside matter and energy? Or, alternatively, what if information is the fifth state of matter? Blue whales are the largest living mammals, though reports of maximum length and weight vary from one account to another. Antarctic blue whales are known to have reached lengths to 100 feet and weights of over 150 tons before stocks were severely depleted by weighing operations. North Atlantic blue whales may be expected to reach lengths of 80-85 feet.